Chapter 3 Foot It is eleven years after my first day on the island. One day I see that I don't have much gunpowder. It starts to worry me. I need gunpowder if I want to hunt animals. My first goat is very old. I want meat but I don't have the heart to kill her. One day she dies a natural death. With less and less gunpowder I have to find another way how to get meat. I decide to make a trap. I am not successful at the beginning. But then I catch three young goats. They are one male and two females. I take them home with me. I keep the goats inside a small area. I make a fence around the area. But the area is too small for three goats. So I make a fence for them around a bigger area. It takes me three months to build this fence. But the area is very nice. There is a lot of grass and water for them. After some time, the young goats are very calm. Soon they eat from my hand. In two years I have twelve goats inside my fence. And in three years I have more than twenty goats. I have a lot of milk and meat thanks to this. I experiment a little and after some time I am able to make cheese and butter. My table is full now and I have a lot of animals around me. I have my old dog, goats and my parrot. The only thing which I still miss is somebody for a conversation. One day I go to the part of the sea where the strong current is. On the way there I think about how strange I look. I have a big hat, a short jacket and short trousers. They are all made from animal skin. I don't have socks or shoes but I put some goat skins around my feet. I have two belts. One belt is for the gun and knife and one belt for the gunpowder. I also carry a basket on my back and an umbrella above my head. My beard is very long. I see that after eleven years on the island I don't look like an Englishman. I am a different person. One day I am walking on the beach. I am going to check my canoe. Then I see something surprising. I see a mark of a human foot on the sand. I look around but I see nobody. I am scared. I run back to my house. I am so scared that it is difficult to sleep at night. Then I think maybe it is all only my imagination. Or maybe it is the mark of my own foot and it is stupid to be scared. After this thought I feel better. I leave my house. And I go look at the mark again. Cannibals. When I come to the mark of the foot I see that the mark is much bigger than my foot. It's impossible that it's my foot. I'm scared again. I start to panic. I want to destroy my corn fields. I want to destroy my valley house. I need to hide my activity on the island. I'm so afraid that I can't sleep the whole night. Finally I sleep a little in the morning. My head is clear when I wake up. Now it isn't so strange that people live on the islands around. I think maybe this is their first visit here. Maybe this island is not interesting for them. Maybe it's also their last visit here. I feel better after these thoughts. But I want to do something for my protection if the people come again. During the following month I make another fence around my house. 
I make holes in the fence. Through these holes I can easily shoot from guns if I'm attacked. Now I have a house which is very well protected. Nobody can come easily near me. I also worry about my goats. I divide the goats in two groups. I built a smaller fence in another part of the island. I put one group of the goats there. It takes me a lot of time, but my animals are safe. After sixteen years on the island, something very sad happens. My dog dies. I cry for three days. It's my worst day on the island. Fortunately, I have my goats. I go to them and I tell them how sad I am. They don't understand my words but I feel that they understand me. They feel my emotions. They are unusually calm and quiet. It's now two years after the foot in the sand on the beach. One day when I'm walking on the beach I think that I see a canoe far in the sea. I'm not sure so I continue to walk. Then I see a thing which shocks me. The beach is full of parts of human bodies. Heads, hands, feet, fingers and teeth are everywhere. There is a black place after a fire. I'm angry but also scared. I can't look at this horrible scene for a long time. I have a horrible feeling in my stomach. I go back home and I think about what to do. Now I can't go out to sea with my canoe. I have no chance against a group of cannibals in the open sea. I also can't use guns because the sound of a gun is very loud. But I always have guns with me for protection. I think that maybe in the future I can kill some cannibals and I can save their prisoners. I look for a place near the beach where I can hide and prepare for the attack. Then I change my opinion. I think that it's not good to fight the cannibals. I don't know these people. They don't attack me. Maybe it isn't good to attack them. Finally I stop the preparations for the attack. I decide to attack them only if they attack me first. Cave I'm hiding my activity on the island. I'm very careful. I try not to be loud. I'm worried when I make a fire. But I need fire because I need to cook. So when I make a fire I try to make only little smoke. Smoke can go very high. People can see smoke from a big distance. One day I discover a small cave in the forest. The cave is near the beach. I go inside. When my eyes are okay with the dark I see two eyes. The eyes are looking at me. I jump outside. I'm scared to death. I wait but nothing happens. I go slowly to the beginning of the cave and I listen. I hear something. It hears some animal. I think that the animal is injured. I take my gun and I go in the cave slowly. When my eyes can see again I see an old goat. The goat is dying in the cave. I return to the cave the next day. I see that the goat is dead. I look around the place. I see that the place is very safe. It's a good place near the beach where I can hide. So I bring some guns and some gunpowder there. It's twenty-three years after my first moment on this island. I live comfortably now. I have many animals around me. 
Pole is repeating my name and some other words very nicely. I have two other parrots. I teach them how to say my name. I have more than thirty goats. One day I'm walking to my fields in the morning when I see fire on the beach. I quickly return to my house. I prepare all my guns. I take my telescope. I go close to the beach. I hide behind a tree. I watch what is happening on the beach. I see nine naked people. They have two canoes. And they are leaving. When they leave I go to the beach. The beach is full of blood and bones again. I'm angry again. I decide to kill them if I see them again. But they don't return for a long time. One day in the evening after a big storm, something strange happens. I hear the sound of a gun at sea. I go to the beach. I see a light. The light is coming from the sea. But it's very far. Then I hear the gun again. I know that some ship is near my island. The ship is in danger. The ship is asking for help. But it's very dark. I don't see the whole ship. I take a lot of dry wood. I make a big fire on the beach. The men on the ship probably see the fire because they shoot again. I think I can speak to somebody tonight. This is great. I keep the fire until midnight. But nobody comes to my beach. It's very strange. I don't understand it. I think, where are the men from the ship? Visitors. The next day in the morning I see the ship. The ship stops very far from the beach. The ship looks empty. I don't understand it. I expect the people from the ship. I really want to speak with somebody. I miss communication with real people very much. I take my canoe. I go to the ship. I want to see if somebody is alive. The ship looks Spanish. The ship is completely destroyed. When I'm close to the ship I see a dog. He is very happy when he sees me. I give him bread and I give him water. He is hungry and very thirsty. I find nobody on the ship. Oh, where are the men from the ship? I think. It's very strange. I don't have an answer to this question. It's a mystery. There are many boxes with different things on the ship. Some boxes are small, some boxes are big. I find bottles with alcohol in some big boxes. But these boxes are too heavy. I can't take them on the canoe. I find guns and gunpowder. I take them to the canoe. I also find some other useful things. I return to the island in the evening with some small boxes on my canoe. I have some new shirts and also gold, silver and a lot of gunpowder. The gunpowder is important for me. On the island, gunpowder is more useful than money or gold. There is something else what I need very much. I need shoes. I find two pairs of shoes on board the ship. I take them with me. I put all my new things in the cave. I make five trips to the ship. I take everything useful for me. Then I hide the canoe. Everything goes back to normal. Time goes quickly. 
I often think about the men from the ship and the cannibals on the beach. One night in March I have an interesting dream. In the dream I see two canoes with cannibals who come to the beach. One of their prisoners runs away. He comes to my house. I save him. Then he becomes my friend. He helps me go through the dangerous waters around the island. I wake up but the dream stays in my mind. I believe that if somebody helps me it's possible to get away from the island. Maybe I can save one of the prisoners of the cannibals. I decide to watch the beach more. I go every day around the beach for the next two years. I hope to see the canoes. My wish becomes reality one afternoon. I see five canoes with more than thirty men on the beach. I can't attack so many men. I have to wait. I watch them with my telescope. The visitors make a fire. They dance around the fire. I also see two other men. They are tied. They are prisoners. After some time, the cannibals take one tied man to the fire. They kill the man. The cannibals paint their bodies with his blood. It's like a theater. But this isn't a theater. It's real. It's horrible. But I can do nothing. There are too many cannibals. The second man is waiting on the side. When the cannibals don't look, the second man jumps up. And he starts to run away. He is running in my direction. I run to the beach and I hide behind a tree. I see that only two cannibals run after him. This is the right moment to save the prisoner. The man runs fast but the cannibals are faster. They are closer and closer to him. I prepare two guns and I'm waiting behind the tree. Friday The prisoner is running directly to my tree. But he doesn't see me. I don't move. Then he runs around me. I'm still behind the tree. When the first cannibal runs close to me, I jump from behind the tree. He is shocked. I shoot him. The second cannibal sees this. He tries to shoot an arrow at me. I have to shoot him too. The prisoner stops when he hears the gun. He turns. He is scared. I smile at him. I show him that it's okay to come closer. He comes to me. He goes down to his knees. He puts his head on the ground. Then he takes my foot. He puts my foot on his head. I show him that he can stand up. He stands up. He looks at the dead cannibals. He goes to their bodies. He looks at the holes in their bodies. He probably can't understand why the cannibals are dead. It's unbelievable for him. He takes the arrows from the dead men. We take the bodies of the cannibals. We hide the bodies in the forest near. Then we go to the deeper forest. I take the man to my cave. The cave is my secret. Nobody can find us there. I give him bread, meat and some water. He is very tired. He sleeps immediately. I have an opportunity to look at him. I see that he is young, slim but very strong. I think that he is about twenty-five years old. 
He has long black hair, dark skin, and a pleasant face. I let him sleep and I go outside. I sit near the cave. And I watch the space around the cave. Some cannibals can come and look for us. But they don't come. Three hours later, the man comes out of the cave. He shows me how happy he is that he is alive and safe. I speak to him. I give him a name. His name is Friday because it's Friday today. I tell him my name and I teach him yes and no. We stay in the cave at night. The next day we go on top of the hill. I see through my telescope that the canoes are gone. We are alone on the island. We go carefully to the beach. First, we go to the place with the bodies of the dead cannibals. When we find them, Friday wants to eat them. I'm angry. I show to Friday that it's not good to eat them. Here I understand that Friday is also a cannibal. We bury the cannibals. Then we walk to the beach. What we see is horrible. There are human bones on the sand. The sand is red with blood. We collect all the body parts. We prepare a big fire. I want to burn the body parts in the fire. We go to my house. I make a little tent for Friday. The tent is between the two fences which are around my house. I'm a little scared. I don't know if Friday can hurt me. After some time I see that I don't have to be scared. Friday is a very good man. He is like a son. And I'm like a father for him. In many situations later he shows me that he wants to give his life for me. I'm very happy that I have Friday on the island. I begin to teach him. I teach him what he needs to know about life like a European. First I teach him some new words. I start with hi hello bye thank you. It isn't easy at the beginning. But I'm patient. I'm happy that I can speak to somebody. Conversation I'm happy that Friday is on the island. I want to show him what I eat. I shoot a young goat. Friday is scared of the gun. He doesn't understand how such a small thing can kill a goat. He doesn't want to touch the gun. We make a soup. When I cook the soup, Friday goes to the forest and he brings some herb. He puts the herb in the soup. The herb is similar to pepper. The soup smells fantastic. The soup tastes fantastic too. The next day we cook goat meat with sauce. Again, Friday brings some herbs and also plants. The herbs make the sauce taste great. We make a nice salad from the plants. I teach Friday how to prepare corn and bake bread. Soon he can bake very good bread. Then we make my field bigger because we want to have more corn. In all activities Friday helps me a lot. He can also catch fish very well. Our cooperation is simply great. We are a good team. I want to teach Friday English. I want to teach him fast. I want to be a good teacher. I take my role very seriously. I think about the best method how to teach Friday English. When I speak fast, Friday doesn't understand. So I try to speak slowly. 
I also speak only in the present. And I use simple words. I also say only short sentences. Now Friday understands more. We speak about many topics. When Friday doesn't understand something, I point at it. Or I explain the word to him. If it doesn't help, I make a picture in the sand. Soon, Friday starts to understand many sentences in the present. He also starts to use some words. His pronunciation is very bad at the beginning. But it isn't important for me. I understand him. And I'm very happy that somebody speaks to me. Friday is a good student. He is clever. He improves quickly. Soon he can say some words like an Englishman. Of course, not all words, but the words which he says correctly make me very happy. I see that Friday very often repeats aloud what I say. I think that it also helps him to learn so fast. I think learning a language is quite easy. You only need to copy what you hear and if you don't understand something you need a picture. Then you need a lot of practice. This is the best system. Friday's progress is fast. He is able to talk more and more every day. In a couple of months we can have a nice conversation. Friday likes my tools. They are very interesting for him. He especially likes the telescope. He borrows the telescope very often. He goes to one hill. And he watches everything around. One day we speak about Friday's people and why they have enemies. He says there is a war between two groups of local people. We are neighbors but we don't like each other. We have many conflicts. There is never peace. We kill each other whenever we can. Friday tells me that they eat human meat like their enemies. They also do rituals when they catch their enemies. Friday tells me about the sea and the currents in the sea. Thanks to Friday, I know more about the history, culture and traditions of his people.